name is Frédéric Chaubin. I'm a French uh, uh, photographer, editor of a French lifestyle magazine. And um, <clears throat> right now we are launching a book about the 20 last years of Soviet architecture that, that I've been collecting. I was looking for a publisher, but in a very abstract way, if you want. I had seen a couple of different possible publishers, but uh, the one who really got into it was Benedict Taschen, yeah. So we just knew that it would take about six months to, to do it, and uh, it was quite a hard, hard uh, task, but we did it, yeah. In fact, I just realized that there was a specific period of Soviet history that hadn't been documented in some way. I mean, Soviet architectural history. And um, at the start, I just noticed very, very, very um, strange, uh, surprising buildings. Because I had seen some buildings in Georgia, and I remember some other buildings that I had seen in Lithuania. I connected them together, and then just thought that maybe they would, I could find more if I went on looking for them. Well, I found. I found a lot because people were bringing me information, they were opening me doors, they were bringing me pointers and uh, this is how I went on for about seven years. From step to step I just did the whole uh, recollection of this uh, period and uh, it finally ended in a book which of course doesn't include everything that has been produced during those 20 last years of the Soviet Union but at least uh, includes a lot of very very specific uh, unusual productions of the period. Diversity was appearing, there's uh, some kind of a blossoming of new shapes because precisely the, um, the, 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 the ideological structure wasn't totalitarian anymore or this totalitarian dimension was not, was not working anymore. In some way there was some kind of free spirit that was going through those very strange shapes. Architecture always reflects ideology. It brings you a vision of what is going through the mind of the period. The architects, they're reproducing some way a philosophy. It's a customized architecture that you will find in the book. It's, it's the way Soviets have been dealing with uh, Western influence, or with local influence, or with their roots, I mean, coming back. It's the way, I mean, uh, uh, global cultural change was uh, shaping itself and uh, could be already seen through, uh, through the architecture. <laughs>